Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com with Digibyte on my chart. The timer has already started. Today is Christmas. Merry Christmas to you if you're watching. And uh, it's um, nearly 8 in the morning in the UK. It's 15 to 8 in the UK. And we are watching Digibyte US dollars, US dollar on Poloniex. I have read comments about um, not using Poloniex. Okay, please let me know. I haven't gone through the comments yet. I will I will read them better after this video. So apologies if I don't reply right now. If you said something important I've missed, I will go after I publish the videos. Um, please let me know which one you want me to use because Digibyte US dollar. If we go here, there is almost no history in uh, among Bitrex. You see, the daily view is okay. I think this one is the better candidate. Like for instance, if we go on Digibyte US dollar on Bitfinex, it's completely unusable, really bad. And this is the daily. Uh, if we check the monthly, it's absolutely nothing. And I would, at this point, I would tend to believe that we don't want to use the the ones calculated by TradingView because they have these weird candles that don't match the shadows. You remember so. By now, I'll go on Bitfinex, but I will stick with the daily, okay? Or, I don't know, I'll stay with, no, Bitfinex, the daily, it does not work. Uh, did you find US dollar? I wanted to say Bitrex. But maybe, let me do one day more with Poloniex, as I have all my drawings in here, okay? And let me know where you want me to do the analysis, and I will do it, okay? So, and we need to wait for all this stuff to go where it needs to go. So... Um, or actually, I'll go on Bitfinex. Come on, DGB USD Btrex. I meant Btrex. So we have on Btrex Digibyte. I mean, I'm, my analysis hasn't changed compared to yesterday. Right now, here it's wow. Here it's really bad. It's completely different than from anywhere else. You see, that's my problem. Digibyte is difficult to track on uh, on on TradingView, and we don't have enough history. Oh, I need to go back to Poloniex for today. I'm really sorry. Then let, let me know and I will change, okay? So here we can see that there are dodges and dodges and dodges and the price is stopping. The RSI value keeps increasing over time or double bouncing while the price keeps dropping. So there is going to there is more interest. But one thing that I see here this one is no longer working. Obviously not in that short term. It can still be working from here though. But we need to wait for the bottom of this. But actually I would just simply delete it. It is obviously it is obvious that it's going up. If we check even from from here, it is going up and probably was August 18. Yeah. The the, the price has started to then change, diverge bullishly starting from here definitely on RSI and we can see RSI has never been oversold anymore and now it's gradually going above 50, 40 so yes there is a reversal about to occur but let's not forget we are still on a very bearish area so this could be the bottom but I don't think it will I think it will drop even more so yeah, exactly what I said yesterday. I, I don't change a single bit compared to what I I saw yesterday in the chart. Now we have several reversal signs, but we see that we keep seeing them, but it keeps dropping. Which again, they are indeed good signs. They are pre-alerts that at a certain point this will stop. I just don't see it stopping right now. So yes, if you want to wait before you buy, probably you will make a better entry. Let me see if the six hours shows something that I have missed. Now in the six hours, it really looks like another rally is about to occur. We have this hammer that is providing support. Then we have the confirmation with a bull engulfing candle and yes indeed there will be a rally i up to what i don't know but i don't think it will go above the this area here the 
whatever, I would say the 233 MA just for simplicity, so 0 0.0066583 or the red line immediately below, which you can see if you wait. If you don't watch the video just as, as soon as I publish, it will, YouTube will encode it and you will see the 4K video. So at this point you should see all these values here. So yes, and that's why, should I, why do I say so? Because I see RSI getting out of the 40 and MACD looking like there is a crossover here. So yes, there will be another attempt, but let's not forget one thing. Let's check, let's stick to MACD. MACD is not trending up right now. It's double bouncing at this value, but it's not trending up. So before we see a little uh, a real rally, we would probably need to wait because in here it is actually trending down. You see, so we need to we need to wait for things to settle. This rally will more likely occur and will stop between these two red lines essentially. That's at least in my opinion. Let me check in the three hours what I can see. The three hours doesn't even look like it's going to make the rally actually. Uh, but yes, it still will make the rally. Look at the bull signs here that we have. <clears throat> even though, excuse me, this inverted hammer didn't have any confirmation. So that's why I am a little skeptical. MACD is just why don't you open my key? Okay. okay, so yeah, it's just, yeah, in the three hours, Digibyte above all here, probably on calculated by TradingView, it's not very useful, uh, but yes, I do think there will be another attempt, there would not be crossover of the 55 MA, and we'll probably, actually, this rally will probably stop much lower than this line, it will probably stop between the 233 and this line, if not less, let me check the hour. In the hour, it looks like the rally is imminent and it actually may really stop. May really stop here. May really stop not even, not even reaching the 6, uh, 0 0.006. However, a rally is imminent and we need to, I know I should tell you targets, but as soon as you see some reversal patterns, just leave it unless the price closes above it just leave it because that would be the top more likely and I don't know if there's going to be a bottom here that we will start building up from I am more pessimistic than optimistic which is what I'm saying <laughs> since I started the video let me check Digibyte Bitcoin I'll still go with Poloniex but please let me know in the comments where you want me to go and I'll go there so it looks like the price has found its support at about 80 so yes I was wrong when somebody asked me do you think it's going to go below and I say nope yeah it actually did and now I make these ones red but yes I think this is the bottom anyway I don't think it will go any lower than that at this point and uh, we would just need to wait for another rally meaning that we need to wait for Bitcoin to do that little rally that I have mentioned and then it, if it keeps dropping this one will go up again probably at this point not on Poloniex actually let me see DG by Bitcoin somewhere else maybe on Bitrex but it's more or less the same so yeah I would say I confirm what I said before anyway I hope you enjoyed the video I know this one was a <clears throat> particular but because it's essentially like yesterday in my opinion so expect a little rally from Bitcoin US dollar but nothing exceptional maybe not even above the 0 0.006 at this point and then let's wait for another drop and let's wait to see where the new low will be so that we can consider a possibility which I don't think to be likely for bit for Digibyte to have found its support because I think it's going to drop more than that Okay, I'm done. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let me know in the comments whatever you want me to do with uh, what, what, what exchange you want me to use rather than Poloniex and I will do. And nothing. Again, enjoy your Christmas and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Thanks. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.